It may be tough for some farmers to plant or harvest right now. That's because so far this year the weather has been unusually warm and wet. So what's that going to mean for the summer and the upcoming hurricane season? Well, to find out more, we now turn to This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson with this week's special guest. Avery? Mike, as you know, weather is very important for Louisiana farmers. In fact, right now some wheat farmers who would normally be harvesting can't because it's just a little bit too wet. Joining me now is WAFB Chief Meteorologist and LSU Ag Center Climatologist. Just Jay Grimes and Jay last year at this time you and I were talking drought. We were a matter of fact uh, we had a drought a two year long drought that extended into the winter months and then come about February Mother Nature flipped the light switch here comes the rain and we've been on the wetter side since and uh, you were mentioning the wheat farmers a little bit wet might even be a little bit generous they've been uh, very wet and of course they're getting more rain as we speak through the last few days and so we're looking at uh, a warm spell relatively warm warm winter, but over the last uh, two to three months, uh, much wetter than a lot of people would like. And you said warm winter. I mean, for a lot of folks, it didn't even seem like winter existed. I know a lot of the wheat crop was way ahead of the schedule because of the warm temperatures. Tell me a little bit about this quote unquote winter we had. Yeah, they, you know, in fact, I uh, recently wrote an article called The Winter That Almost Wasn't because it was so warm. In fact, for a number of places around Louisiana, this was one of the warmest winters ever, especially that period from about January into April. Most of the state seeing about half the normal freezes, lots of the state seeing no hard freezes. So, a very, very mild winter, which for lots of folks, that's kind of good news, certainly for the residential customers meant a reduction in the, the uh, heating requirements. But for those folks that need that freeze, need that cold spell, didn't get it. And I know I'm going to play off of your title of climatologist there. You look at the broad uh, sort of schedule of weather, the way things are going over Louisiana. Well, you mentioned this is, might be the warmest winter on record. How, what does that show as far as weather patterns when you're looking at the big picture? Well, you know, as we've talked in the past, we were working through a, a uh, La Nina heading into the winter. And typically, La Ninas are dry, and they often are a little on the warm side. So the warm signature was there. The dryness come about February went away. La Nina is fading away, is out of the picture now. And what we've seen then, again, for the first four months of uh, 2012, one of the warmest spells to begin a, a, a year ever. And then even that first week of May, very, very warm, although we had that cool front work through this week and that's taking the temperatures down a bit. Question is, what about the coming weeks and months? And right now we're looking at what probably is going to continually be uh, temperatures that will be at normal or even above normal, not only through the rest of the spring for the most part, but into the summer as well. And I don't want to catch you off guard here, but I know a lot of people talk about La Nina, El Nino, and how that could impact the Atlantic hurricane season. Uh, what are your thoughts? I know you don't have a crystal ball, but sometimes these things can kind of paint a picture for us. I knew that was coming, so I was ready for you. And the fact of the matter is uh, uh, a lot of the experts think that by the time we get into late August, September, we could be back into an El Nino. That's a little bit of good news for the basin as a whole because El Ninos during hurricane season tend to reduce activity. The other thing is, unlike what we've seen the last couple of years, the spring temperatures in the uh, open Atlantic are a little cooler than they've been recently. And so most of the early season forecasts are coming out with a, a count that says something near normal, even maybe a tad below normal. All that said, we always got to remember, it's not the total number of storms, it's the ones that come to the Bayou State. And we have no way of anticipating that this early in, this, in the year. Well, Jay, we know when all of that does happen, if there's anything that forms, you'll be there to keep we'll us informed. Yes, Thank you very much. Jay Grimes, Chief Meteorologist at WAFB and the LSU Ag Center Climatologist. Also, Mike, speaking about the storms, now is the time to get prepared. There's a tax holiday coming up the weekend of May 26th, so that's the time when you should go out and purchase all of your hurricane supplies. Back to you. Avery Davidson, thanks. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture. How many hands does it take to get this bouquet to your door? I'm Kristen Oaks and I'll show you coming up.